Hey guys, what is up? My name is Elsie. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome back. If you're not, I'm so glad you're here. Today we are doing Makeup Monday number four, so let's just get started. <laughs> Today we're going to be doing more of a fun look and then our next one is going to be me practicing my wedding look because currently my wedding is in nine days. Also, I do want to put a little disclaimer. The lighting in this video is going to be a little bit different and the angle from the Makeup Mondays I normally do because it's currently, um, what, 8.17 p.m. So the sun is like not here right now. So I had to use my ring light. Sorry if it's not as good, but this is just the time I have to film videos right now. I want to show you the makeup look that I'm going to be doing. I will also put a picture of it up here on the screen, but here it is. It is going to be a bit more difficult uh, than the ones that I normally do, but I'm currently really bad at doing like eyeliner looks. I know this is eyeshadow and not liner. But I'm really bad at that right now. So I kind of just want to test that out and play with it and get better at that. That's one of my goals. So, so peace of fuzz. <laughs> Sir, I'm filming. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to try that one. I think that I might have just made my eyebrows worse. <laughs> this one looks so bad. This one always looks so bad, but it's whatever. So I'm going to start off with my primer, which is the normal primer that I always use. Going in with the Tarte Base Tape Primer. Love this one. It smells like coconuts. Love that. I'll probably try and like kind of speed through like the face stuff so that I can get to the eyes because that's like the main part of this look really. Like that's the thing that I really want to practice is this eye look. The next thing that I'll be doing is my eyebrows. I'm going to be using the Goof Proof Brow Pencil by Benefit. Also, my mirror is down here. So if I'm like doing this a little bit, very sorry. I'll scoot it closer to me so hopefully I don't have to like do that a lot. I also have no clue where my brow gel went. Like I used to have Benefit brow gel and I literally have no idea where it went. I don't know if you guys have been listening to Tate McRae recently, but she has been repeat on repeat on my phone. Her new album is so good. And I know, I know this is going to shock everyone when this comes out of my mouth. I just know it but I honestly like Tate's new album better than Harry's new album I know everybody's shocked by me saying that because I love Mr. Styles I like it a lot more now that I've like listened to it more and like know some of the songs I will say Matilda is uh, my favorite song on it of course because it's the saddest one I think that that's better I think that we're done with brows because I don't want to mess them up even more. But I am going to go in with the Revlon Brow Fantasy Gel just because, like I said, I can't find my benefit one and so this is the only one I have right now. Eyebrows are sisters, not twins. We're gonna move on to my foundation. I'm gonna be using the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better foundation in the shade Fair and Neutral. I love this one. This is my favorite foundation I've ever used. That's like out of five. But you know what? It's my favorite one that I've ever used. And I am also going to Ulta this Saturday to get a new shade because I feel like this might be a little bit too light for me because I have gotten a little bit darker this summer. And before the wedding, I just like want to make sure I have the right shade. So I'm going there this weekend, but as of right now, we're just going to use this one. Okay, I think that I'm done with the foundation. I think that it's blended out well enough. Now it's time for my eyes. Yay, I'm like scared for this. But the first thing that I'm gonna do that I always do, I'm gonna go in with Tartlet in Bloom. I'm going to go in and with the shade Flower Child, like I always do, just all over my lids. Like I've said before, I just feel like this really helps me um, blend out my eyeshadow later on. And it just helps it all go on a lot smoother, honestly. So it looks like there's a very like peachy tone in like this region of the eye on the lid and up a little bit. Honestly, all the way kind of to the corner. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's just like a very like, peachy tone right there. So I'm going to see if I have that. Um, and then I guess I'll just go in with that tone. So I guess I'm just going to go in with Sweetheart from Tarlet and Bloom. 
I'm going to use the e.l.f. blending eye brush for this. And I'm going to go in with that shade Sweetheart from Tartlet and Blue. Okay, now I'm just going to go back in with the brush that I used to put the first shade on and just blend it out a little bit. Just so the lines aren't so harsh because her lines were not harsh at all. Done with the peachy shade. Let's see if you can see it. I don't know. There is a sparkly shade on there. We're gonna go ahead and do that. We're gonna go ahead and do, it's like super light sparkle though. It's barely anything. So I'm just gonna go in with this one right here, which is Funny Girl and just do like very light sparkles, just kind of in random spots like hers were. She definitely had some in the corner though. So I will go ahead and put a little bit there. Now on to the hard part that I'm scared for. I have never been good at eyeliner because I never like even them out, I guess. Oh, I'm like so scared for this. I'm going to be using this angled brush. It's from Eco Tools, which I think is just a brand at Walmart. I've also had these brushes for a very long time. This is like a very deep red. I think I'm gonna go in with this Huda Beauty palette. I also got this very long ago. It's very pretty though. I've maybe used it two or three times, but I think I'm gonna go in with this shade right here because it is very dark and it's darker along the bottom. So I think what I'm going to do is just uh, make the line, I guess. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I made a line. I also have quite hooded eyeballs, so that is a problem. <laughs> it looks so bad. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going in with a little bit more of a pink shade to kind of connect it to the inner corner. I'm just going in with the one that was like right on top of it, this one right here, because hers is a bit more pink up there. It's not the worst thing I've ever done in my life. The lines aren't exactly even, but the lines have been made. Okay, that one isn't like as good over here, but I will fix that with concealer. Again, I'm gonna go in with the pink shade to kind of connect it to my inner corner over here. I'm gonna go in with some more concealer and try to shape that up a little bit. I just got concealer in my hair. I just got so much concealer in my hair. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know how that's gonna get out of my Look at that. <laughs> I'm probably making it worse rubbing it right now. Oh my gosh. I'm literally one of the dumbest people I know. That doesn't look completely horrible. And honestly, at this point, I'm I'm good with that. Just it not looking completely horrible. I think that part of it too is just the fact that I am not used to seeing myself with winged looks at all. This side definitely still looks better than this side. All right, so the next thing that I'm gonna do, this has it like an ombre effect almost. So I'm gonna try and find just a little bit darker shade. All right, I'm just gonna go in with black and we'll see how it looks. I'm just gonna put it right down here at the bottom. The next thing I'm gonna do is go in with this pink shade again from Huda and put it on my under eyes. Now I'm going to go in to the inner corners and highlight my eyes with this. It's from Ofra and it's the highlighter in Moon Dance. I'm just gonna go in with my finger and put some in my inner corner. Wow, this is very bright, like very pigmented. I'm gonna go in with my blush now. I'll do a close-up of the eyes and my mascara's on and everything, but as of right now, I'm gonna go in with my blush. I'm going to do the Tarte Amazonium Clay Blush in the shade Quirky. I love this one. I'm going to go in with my Ciate London Contour in the shade Palm Island. This one is very pretty. 
very light. I like that. I can confidently say that this will not be my wedding look. Um, especially not the concealer in my hair. At least I hope not. That would be so sad. It's supposed to be 94 degrees and sunny where my outdoor wedding is. And it's at four o'clock Indiana time, so it's like the hottest point of the day. Didn't really think that one through, but it's okay. You live and you learn. By the end of the day, we're still gonna be married and that's what matters. Going to do a highlighter and then I'm gonna do mascara. The highlight that I'm going in with is that same one that I used, the Ofra one. And then she has her upper brows highlighted. So I'm gonna go in with a different brush and do that. I I'm going to go in with this brush from Luxie. It's the number 243, the Precision Blending Brush. But I'm going to use it for this highlighter just to do like this part of my brows. I'm using the Wonder Beauty Unleashed Volume and Curl Mascara. I don't know if I've ever used this in a video before, so I do want to show it. I don't Look color time and then I'm done. I really want to try this color. I don't know if it would look good with it though. But I think I'm going to try it just to try it. I really want to try this one because I got it in my Ipsy last month and I haven't tried it yet. It's the Pop Beauty Permanent Pout in the shade Bear Blush. So this is what it looks like. I like it, but it got all over my teeth. Like way more than normal lipsticks do. So I don't really know what that was about. Well, it's the finished look. I don't know how I feel about it. I think I did a decent job though at getting these to be the same angle. They don't look obviously exactly the same, but I think the angle of them is pretty close. I'll just give you a little bit more of a close up. I really like this lip color. I obviously didn't do the best job on it, but like I said, I was just testing it out. But my eyes, I just don't, I don't know. I'll, okay, let me just. I don't know what I think. Let me know what you think in the comments below because it definitely doesn't look like the picture, but it that's I wasn't expecting it to. Final verdict, I don't hate it. I don't hate it. I did a little bit better than I thought I was gonna do. I still need lots of work on the winged looks. I still don't know if it looks good on me, not really sure, but I like it. I think I did a decent job. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that you made it to the end. If you did, comment the, let's see, what's a red emoji? Let's just look up red. If you guys made it all the way to the end, which I hope that you did, comment the red lips emoji because, you know, I just know, I just feel like it's perfect for this look. Comment down below if you have any video ideas for me. Um, I The ones that I know that are gonna be coming up, obviously some wedding stuff. I'll have a crystal collection one, which, won't be out before this one, but it'll be out, I think, the same week. And then I have just some other ones. I have one of Oren and I that I want to do, like a little interview. So I've, I've been planning some really cute ones, and I'm really working hard to get two a week from now on. Thank you so much for watching the video. I really, really appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, like it, comment on it, subscribe to my channel. I am currently two subscribers away from 200, so that's really exciting. And I'll see you guys later. Thank you for watching. Bye!